आई बी पी एस क्लर्क रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट आई बी पी एस क्लर्क ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट सो इन दिस वीडियो वील बी लुकिंग इन टू द आई बी पी एस क्लर्क नोटिफिकेशन सैलरी स्ट्रक्चर एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एज वेल एज शॉर्ट लिस्टिंग प्रोसीजर एग्जाम पैटर्न एंड हाउ टू अप्लाई सो दिस इन दिस वीडियो वील बी लुकिंग फॉर आई बी पी एस क्लर्क नोटिफिकेशन इन डिटेल सो दिस वीडियो इज कैटेगराइज इन टू लेटेस्ट जॉब वैकेंसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एज वेल एज जॉब वैकेंसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो लेटेस्ट गौट जॉब रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन सो दिस इज द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट जॉब दिस इज बैंकिंग एग्जाम रिक्रूटमेंट सो दिस इज आई बी पी एस जॉब्स कंसिडर टू बी द आई बी पी एस जॉब्स सो आई बी पी एस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बैंकिंग पर्सनल रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर क्लर्क वेर इन एनी ग्रेडिएट कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस वैकेंसीज सो दिस इज अफिशियल नोटिफिकेशन द लिंक्स फॉर दिस विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो वील बी लुकिंग इन डिटेल वॉट इज एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एंड वॉट आर द पार्टिसिपेटिंग बैंक्स इन दिस वीडियो सो दिस आर द पार्टिसिपेटिंग बैंक्स फॉर दिस नोटिफिकेशन बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा कैनरा बैंक इंडियन ओवरसीज बैंक यू सी ओ बैंक बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया पंजाब नेशनल बैंक यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र इंडियन बैंक पंजाब एंड सिंध बैंक so the tentative date of examination structure that is online application will be starting from 17 2023 to 21 7 2023 so this is the last day to apply last day to apply is 21st of uh, july 2023 and uh, the payment of online application will be also in 21st of july 2023 download of uh, uh, pre examination training you will be in the month of august so online preliminary examination will be held in the month of either august or september 2023 so results will be in the month of september or october 2023 online mains examination will be held in the month of october 2023 and uh, the provisional allotment will be in april 2024 so this is the uh, structure of examination this is the tentative dates uh, schedule of events like online examination for both prelims mains and uh, uh, provisional allotment so Uh, any graduate can apply so please look to, uh, into the details i'll just give the link in the description the, we have already uh, seen the participating banks and the maximum age criteria for unreserved category is 28 years minimum age criteria is 20 years so this is the official uh, notification and uh, minimum and maximum age criteria is 28 years for unreserved category there is also age relaxation for sc st for sc st age relaxation is 5 years for obc it is 3 years for pwd it is 10 years For ex servicemen, that is uh, uh, actual period of service plus three years, and for uh, widows, divorced, uh, divorced women, and uh, women legally separated from their husbands. So this is the official uh, age criteria: is uh, 35 years for general EWS category, 38 years for OBC candidates who are uh, separated, uh, who are divorced, and 40 years for SC ST. and person affected in 1984 rights there is there is a 5 years age relaxation so this is the ibps uh, 2023 age uh, relaxation criteria for different categories and for upper age criteria for unreserved category is 28 years and minimum age criteria is 20 years so the exam pattern and uh, the recruitment criteria everything will be looking in this video so this is the official notification which will be comprising of uh, 65 pages and moreover the education qualification as of 21 7 2023 so you need to have a degree any degree graduation in any discipline from the recognized government of india and moreover uh, the candidate must pro, uh, possess a valid mark sheet or degree certificate uh, before this date and uh, there should be computer literacy that is operating with and working knowledge of computer is mandatory so you need to have computer literacy that is a candidate should have certificate or di uh, diploma or degree in computer operations or language uh, should have studied computer uh, at least uh, computer or information technology uh, at least uh, one of the subject in your either high school or college or institute if you don't have this subject in your college we can do pg dca course uh, from any of the computer institutes uh, so that you will get uh, the one year course certificate uh, pg dca certificate so this is the official notification and this is mandatory computer literacy is very important because uh, as a clerk you need to, you need to uh, work in on the computer as well so this is the uh, criteria and uh, percentage criteria the percentage criteria will be considered to be 100 marks and uh, the fraction percentage 59.99 will be treated as 60 percentage uh, will be treated less than 60 percentage and 54.99 will be treated less than 55 percentage so this is the important criteria and uh, you need to have 
any degree any degrees of qualification required and the application fee criteria for undeserved category it is 850 rupees and uh, for sc st pwd candidates it is uh, 175 rupees so undeserved category 850 rupees and for sc st it is 175 rupees so ibps uh, 2023 payment uh, that is online application fee criteria for unreserved category uh, is 850 rupees so this pattern of examination there will be preliminary examination followed by mains examination prelims examination will be comprising of uh, english language numerical ability reasoning ability so english language will be of 30 questions 30 marks the time frame is 20 minutes and for numerical ability 35 questions uh, 35 minutes uh, 35 marks and 20 minutes is the maximum uh, time limit so 20 minutes 35 questions will be given and uh, reasoning ability uh, 35 questions 35 uh, marks and 20 minutes is the allotted time so total of one uh, hour one hour you will be having three sections that is english language numerical ability reasoning ability so this is the structure of examination if you qualify preliminary examination then you will be uh, called to appear for mains examination uh, mains examination will be comprising of total of 160 minutes so there will be four sections in mains examination general financial awareness general english reasoning ability as well as computer aptitude quantitative aptitude so this is the structure of examination for mains examination out of which general as well as financial awareness 50 questions will be given and uh, 50 marks and time frame is 35 minutes general english it is 40 questions 40 marks 35 minutes reasoning ability and computer aptitude 50 questions will be given maximum marks are 60 marks and 45 minutes is the time frame and for quantitative aptitude uh, 50 questions uh, 50 marks and 45 minutes so out of which the uh, computer ability as well as reasoning ability will be comprising of uh, 60 marks 50 questions 45 minutes total of uh, 190 questions 200 marks 160 uh, minutes so this is the mains examination structure so if you qualify for mains examination so i mean to say if you are in the merit list you will be allotted to any one of these uh, uh, banks by the ibps uh, merit list the list of the version of tests or medium of examination so you can give uh, any in, in any one of the regional languages so english hindi telugu assamese so these are all the languages wherein you can give uh, the examination in different uh, uh, languages as well depending upon your state so this is the structure of examination pattern of examination wherein uh, uh, call letters will be given uh, the intimation for the online main examination uh, through the duration that is 160 minutes candidate may be required to appear the venue about three hours so before uh, the stipulated time frame and uh, the information like uh, download of online application as well as download of admit card and uh, the score results will be intimated via email uh, so you need to have a valid email address and examination centers will be in the vicinity of uh, whatever the examination centers you have opted at the time of uh, uh, filling up the online application so there will be pre-examination training to be arranged for the participating banks so due to COVID-19 pandemic for the safety, uh, PET during period may not be held. So pre-examination training may be arranged by the nodal banks. So th there will be uh, pre-examination training which will be held in different states. Uh, these are the different locations of these different states. So all the eligible candidates who opt for uh, pre-examination training should fill the relevant application on uh, form. You need to opt so that uh, they will be given uh, the pre-examination training so this is the structure as well as pattern of examination eligibility criteria and application fee criteria and uh, in, remember the last day to apply is uh, 21 7 2023 so first uh, is the first july is the online application start date and last date is 21 7 2023 so the prerequisites for applying uh, this particular examination you need to have a photograph of this particular uh, size the, uh, left, uh, signature and also you need to have left thumb impression and handwritten declaration is must you need to upload so this is a handwritten declaration uh, in case you don't have handwritten declaration so you need to put uh, uh, the given text below that is in case of candidates who do not uh, write men may get the text in the dedication uh, so you need to write the declaration uh, with your own hand and upload in the respective uh, column i mean to say at the proper appropriate page 
so signature should not be in capital letter so this is the declaration you need to write with your own hands i hereby declare that all the information submitted by me in the application form is correct true and valid i will present the supporting documents and as and when required so this is a handwritten declaration you need to write it to, uh, write it with your own hands scan it and uh, update and upload in the respective uh, respective field uh, while you are applying so this is the intimation charges as well as uh, so for unreserved category 850 rupees and for uh, scst pwd ex serviceman it is 175 rupees so this is the procedure for uh, apl application and uh, mode of payment will be online and uh, well this is the official notification the link will be given in the description so these are the tentative vacancies all over india so uh, that is there in annex here one vacancy that is also page number 34 of the official notifi notification so i'm just skimming first union territory andaman and nicobar uh, these are the participating banks for the andhra pradesh uh, bank of baroda uh, these are different vacancies bank of india bank of maharashtra uh, Canara Bank, Central Bank of India, Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, Punjab National Bank, Punjab and Sindh Bank, UCO Bank, Union Bank of India. So total of uh, for Andhra Pradesh total vacancies are 77 vacancies uh, and for general category there, there are 35 vacancies, for EWS 7 vacancies, OBC 20 vacancies, for SC 4 vacancies, for SC uh, for ST 4 vacancies, for SC 11 vacancies. So for the, these, are, these are for the Andhra Pradesh and for Assam. So I'm just skimming, uh, just go through the official notification. Uh, where in a total of around 4,000 place vacancies all over India. If you just qualify, uh, and if you are in the merit list, you can just opt out for any one of these uh, vacancies all over India. So uh, this is the official recruitment notification. In case if you are new to my channel, I request you to look into the latest job update playlist so that you will be having an edge of what are the recent notifications out there uh, in the recent past there are a lot of uh, recent notifications there is also sebi recruitment notification out there uh, recently as well as railway recruitment notification out there and uh, there is also nmdc recruitment out there the links for that will be given in the de uh, description as well as uh, and you just go to the playlist there is also ssc uh, mts recruitment notification nmdc recruitment Cochin CPR recruitment, ITBP recruitment, ICMR recruitment, BEL recruitment, CSIR recruitment, APSFC recruitment, Indian Army recruitment, AIC recruitment, NIT uh, Himachal Pradesh recruitment, ICR recruitment. So these are all the recent notifications within the past of one week notifications. So just go to the uh, description and go to the playlist of latest job updates so that you will be having uh, the edge of what are the re uh, recent notifications in case if you have missed out uh, by any chance just click on there and uh, the link will be given in the description so that you can apply for these vacancies uh, thank you have a wonderful day